We're here at the Detroit Auto Show where Ram has just revealed the brand new 2019 Ram 1500. And of specific importance to us is this new powertrain mild hybrid choice they're offering. With us now, Michael Duhame, who's going to talk to us about exactly how this works. Yeah. Mike, thank you very much for spending time yeah, with th us. Yeah, th thanks for having me here. So, you know, as we were beginning to engineer the RAM, we wanted to focus on making sure we maintain durability and efficiencies, but we really wanted to focus on efficiency and technology. So this brings us to our new addition of electrification, our e-torque system. It's a 48 volt system that's mounted on the front in the traditional area where the um, alternator would go. And basically we use this to start and stop the engine. It starts it very fast, very seamlessly, in less than four tenths of a second. So I, I'm assuming you guys don't have EPA numbers yet, but no. But is there a percentage improvement that so, you're expecting so to get So we're out expecting, of it? you know, uh, somewhere, uh, I think uh, rough numbers are about 10% improvement in our fuel economy okay. numbers, so a pretty, pretty significant gain. And it's actually both on the, the both V6, V6 and the V8? And the V6 and the V8. It, it's standard on the V6, it's optional on the V8. Okay, engines. excellent. Okay? And then our e-torque system, we use this basically, as I said, to start and stop the engine. We also use it as part as recuperation. Uh, so as the vehicle is slowing down, uh, we'll take that energy, it's absorbed by this, and recharges the 48-volt battery in the so, system. So it's technically the mild hybrid system that allows the start and stop capability? That's or is correct. that in the transmission? No, so something? the start and stop is all done okay. by the mild hybrid okay. system. So we integrate all of our controls through the powertrain in the vehicle. So it's actually a controlling system. It's one unit as we look at it. So it, it has the ability to start and stop. It helps the engine with four-cylinder and, and eight-cylinder activations. And also we use it to help boost uh, when we're in four-cylinder mode. So many times in four-cylinder mode, we just want to tip in a little bit and it'll switch to eight-cylinder. We can use the 130 foot-pounds of torque in the e-torque system to help assist the engine and remain in four-cylinder mode longer. So walk me through exactly when I'm driving, mm -hmm. when I'm getting the benefit of it. Yeah. So when it stops, uh, oh, when we're driving around town mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. whole vehicle shuts down at mm -hmm. a red light, that, that makes perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Am I getting the benefit of the battery power at takeoff at that yep. point? So what we do is when we, we go to launch the system, uh, basically we use the full 130 foot-pounds of torque to start the engine and we continue to boost until the engine torque comes up. Now on the eight cylinder and the six cylinder, the torque comes up pretty quickly. So we use that to fill the lower end and then let the engine take over. So it helps us with some acceleration as well when we begin oh, to start. Excellent, so, so yeah. when I'm driving at 50 or 60 miles an hour and I punch the throttle, mm -hmm. is that, am I getting some benefit at that point? No, or is that we no? won't get much benefit there. Okay. Uh, basically that's all the engine, but when we're driving at 50, 60 miles an hour, this basically acts as an alternator then. And then inside of the battery pack, there's a conversion system that takes the 48 volt uh, system into the 12 volt and supports the whole 12 volt system of the vehicle. Do that you have any well. sense on how many of these are going to be consumers are going to be interested in purchasing? No, no I, idea I don't know. I, we're, we're, it's it's a very good product for us. We're extremely excited about it. it brings good technology to the vehicle. It gives us a lot of efficiency as well. And 10% boost, is it only going to cost 10% more than, uh, than the I last? <laughs> we don't, I don't have the pricing, yeah, yeah, pricing exactly. numbers as we look oh, that, at that. That's so. excellent. Yeah. This will be very interesting to yeah. be able to get this vehicle out and test yeah. it. Yeah, yeah well, it's, it drives. Like, it's amazing when you get to drive it. You don't know the engine started. You know, traditional starter-based systems, you feel the start and the shake of the engine. This just seamlessly starts. It's just all of a sudden, it's just running. It's now, how smooth. modular is this? In the future, could we have something that is more aggressively electric in a half-ton pickup truck? Or is this system pretty well designed? The, this is very well designed right now okay. for, for where we're at. You know, in the future, we'll see what the future lies if we, okay. if we bring more electrification to the full-size truck. And what so. about towing? Is there any benefit that this system helps the, with the, This towing? system, uh, as far as towing, if we're in four-cylinder mode, like I said, we help with mm -hmm. that and some of the grades, but that's where we use the base power of the, the systems. But what the e-torque system does if we're in towing, uh, on our upgraded uh, eight-speed transmission, we have almost over 40 shift patterns that we can select from. So the e-torque system will automatically choose those pieces. So if we're in towing, it'll know we're towing. As well as inside of the vehicle in the new shift selector, there's certain driver modes that you can select. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Mike, thank mm -hmm. you very much for your thank time. Thank you so I much. appreciate that. Thank you so much. For more information on the new 2019 Ram 1500, go to pickuptrucks.com.